It's not too much over us, but we want somebody we can trust, someone we can follow. People look for this in a president. They look for it in um, a, a boss. They look for it in a king. They look for it in a husband. Want an anointed leader. But I'm telling you, there is only one ultimate anointed leader, and that is Jesus, Mashiach, Christos, God's anointed one who was sent from heaven to be our prophet, our priest, and our king. There is only one Messiah. And then we're reminded, thirdly, that God keeps his promises. God keeps his promises. Now, he doesn't always do it in the way or the time that we would expect. And the Jews learned that in, in the New Testament era. They expected a Messiah who would be an earthly king, a political hero who would overcome their enemies and would usher in this utopian age of peace and prosperity. But their wrong expectations in terms of how and when this was to happen kept them from recognizing that Messiah was actually here. When Jesus didn't meet those expectations, there were a few who believed, but most refused to believe. They rejected him, they killed him, and even the disciples, their expectations had to be adjusted. And I think sometimes we have expectations of what Jesus should be like, what he should do. And we want to have the crown without the cross. Real similar to what the Jews expected of Messiah. So when he doesn't meet those expectations, even if they're unspoken expectations, we may be tempted to doubt that he really is the Lord. And maybe even to reject him. Remember that Christ's rule as Messiah in our lives doesn't always or quickly lead to the mountaintop. 